Hello, good day. I'm teacher Lillian. You are now in Mathematics 5. Our topic for today is about the use of PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule correctly. Let's observe the answer of two boys in the same mathematical expression. They have different answer but the same expression. Do you think who got the correct answer? Why do you think they got different answer but same expression? The equation 20 plus 4 times 18 minus 12 divided by 3, the answer of Pepe is 28, while Luis is 48. Who got the correct answer? PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule. The acronym PEMDAS stands for P as in parentheses, M multiplication, D division, A addition, and S subtraction. In GEMDAS rule, like PEMDAS, G as in groupings, M multiplication, D division, A addition, and S subtraction. In PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule, we must follow the order of operation. We must perform first the operation inside the parentheses, followed by multiplication or division as they occur, and addition or subtraction as they occur, same as GEMDAS. Do first the groupings and then followed by multiplication or division as they occur and addition or subtraction as they occur. Let us evaluate the answer of the two boys. In the equation 20 plus 4, open parenthesis 18 minus 12, close parenthesis divided by 3. If we, uh, if we follow the order of operation, we will do first the operation inside the parentheses, and that is subtraction. So 18 minus 12 equals 6. Then copy the rest in the equation. Yeah. So next to perform is multiplication. That is 4 times 6 equals 24. Then copy again the rest in the equation. Then the operation left is addition and division. So we will do first division. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Then copy 20. So 20 plus 8 equals 28. Perform a series of operation on whole numbers involving more than two operations using PEMDAS or GEMDAS. Rule 1. Perform the operation within each pair of grouping symbols, that is parentheses, brackets, and braces, beginning with the inner most. Rule number two, perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. Rule three, perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. Let's try some example. Open parentheses, 12 plus 3, close parenthesis, minus 7 equals n. So, to perform this, let us do first inside the operation inside the parenthesis, that is 12 plus 3. We will always begin at the left, no? going to the right. Okay, so 12 plus 3 equals 15, then right minus 7. So, 15 Minus 7 equals 8. So 8 is the correct answer. 
Okay, in the equation 4, open parenthesis plus 2, close parenthesis equals 8. So, first to perform is the operation inside the parenthesis that is addition. So, 6 plus 2 equals 8. So, there's no operation you will see in the equation before the parenthesis. It means that you are going to multiply. So, 4 times 8. 4 times 8 equals 32. Okay. 25 divided by 5 plus 9 equals n. There's no parenthesis, so we will start at the division. From the left, division is the first operation. So, we will perform that first. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. Then, copy plus 9. So, 5 plus 9 equals 14. Next. Open parenthesis 18 minus 4, close parenthesis, plus open parenthesis 5 plus 3, close parenthesis equals n. So we have two parentheses. We will do first subtraction. We will always start at the left. So 18 minus 4 equals 14, then 5 plus 3 equals 8. So, 14 plus 8 equals 22. Next, open parenthesis 6 divided by 3, close parenthesis plus, open parenthesis 10 times 3, close parenthesis equals 8. So, first to perform is division. So, 6 divided by 3 equals 2, then 10 times 3 equals 30. So, 2 plus 30 equals 32. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. See you next time.